Alright, so here's to all you fucks out there that think you know everything. Um, it was brought to my attention on Facebook. I saw a post about Kurt. It wasn't directly about Kurt Cobain, but I knew who they were talking about. If I can, I'll post it on this video, what was said. Number one, Kurt and Jared's probably going to put in, put in too. Um, Kurt Cobain had some excruciating stomach pains, like they burned and shit, and he couldn't figure out what would what would help, and neither could any of the doctors. They didn't know what was causing it, what was whatever. So, of course a rock star is going to take drugs. You know. But um, when he took heroin, he found out that heroin made it go away. So as they got worse, he took more. And I'm not spouting off shit that I haven't researched extensively, and Jared can vouch for that. He's been there for half of this shit. Yep. See? <laughs> anyway, Kurt Cobain did not fucking kill himself. Kurt Cobain was leaving Seattle, leaving Courtney. Would have caused Courtney to lose money. Therefore, Courtney had him off to make it look like a suicide. There were no fingerprints on the shotgun. And I hope to God Courtney sees this. Because I'm waiting. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> anyway. There were no fingerprints on the shotgun. The fucking shell on the shotgun. The spent shell was on the opposite side of the ejection port. The shotgun was laying on his chest and his hands were on it, but there were no fingerprints. Explain that shit. And if you commit suicide, tell me who is going to blow their brains out and then be like, oh shit, I forgot to put my wallet out to identify myself. His wallet was laying open beside him when they found him. The stool was pulled toward the door. It wasn't completely toward the door. There was a bag of 22 shells where the stool was. Would have been underneath where the stool was, and there was two more shells in the shotgun. He took the heroin, set in the greenhouse because he was fucking paranoid, not because he was going to shoot himself. He, made, he took the heroin to make himself paranoid so he'd know if somebody was trying to kill him because he knew somebody was trying to fuck him up. I don't give a shit who likes it, who fucking thinks different. I have studied this to extreme lengths that probably would seem seriously obsessive, and they they were. <laughs> but uh, Jared has gone over everything that I've researched and highlighted shit that I overlooked. So me and Jared, aside from the experts in our circle... And around the people we know, we are the foremost experts on Kurt Cobain. I did my turn paper over it. and Yep. <laughs> but don't be spouting off at the mouth about shit you don't know about. And thinking you fucking know everything. You know who the fuck you are. And unless you want to start an argument that's going to last... Forever, don't spout off shit about about a subject you don't fucking know about. Anything to add, Jared? Nope. I think I covered it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. If you got something to say, say it. I guarantee you, you won't win this argument. That's all I got to say.